Starting off with her eyebrows, I use the clear eyelash glue to brush her brows upwards. Then after that, I'm just using the edge of the spoolie to lay, down, lay that down. Then I use this my brown eye pencil to fill in the part of her brows that I feel are scanty. Then I'm going to go in with my LA Gay Pro Concealer in the shade Fern. I'm just going to clean up her brows just so everything stays stay snatched. Yeah. I'm, when I'm cleaning her brows, I'm making sure to drag it down so that it will be easy for me to blend in and also because I'm going to be using the concealer as my eyeshadow base so for the upper part of her brow I'm mixing this um, elegant pro concealers in shade fun and shade chestnut just so that I can get a, something closer to her skin tone so that so that it's not too light as you can see so after carefully cutting out the upper part of her brow so i went in with this my brush again to clean up everything and make sure that everything is in place then i'm going to go in with my this my Iman Iman foundation makeup base that is what is right on the body then i'm going to place that on her face just blend that out just a little so that it holds out everything that I'm going to put on her eyes if you understand so here yeah, I'm going into this my 32 color palette I'm just going in with that light shade I don't know it's like the lightest shade I have here it's like pink but I don't know just just need to smoke out and set her um her, her, her eyelid all over her eyelid yeah Then I'm going in with this darker dark brown. This is the darkest brown I have in this uh, my palette. I'm just going to use it to start smoking. I start putting it on her outer corner, just like that. I really want this color to to show, but I also don't want it to be too packed. That is why I'm blending everything seamlessly, but making sure that I'm putting that I'm just the the thing is to blend out and add it bit by bit and you're going to end up with a perfect brow then i'm going in with this the, the same brow palette i'm just taking this darker gold and i'm placing that all over her eyelid and yes i think it's her eyelid i'm just placing that all over her eyelid just like that i'm not i'm not packing it i'm just spreading it little by little because i also want it to be seen but i don't want it to be too packed then i went into this my um, kiss touch um, professional palette i'm taking that light the lightest good i have there and i started putting it on um, in her inner corner by her inner corner also taking it out to her um, crease again then i went in with the darkest brown that i use the darkest color that i use and also i'm using to smoke out the i make sure that everything is blended seamlessly then i went in with this um tattoo eyeliner i'm just going to use the line her waterline and just add a little wing after i went in with the same LAG pro concealer in the shade one just using, just using to scope out her eyes and make sure that everything is snatched i want it to be like hawks i don't know just like this now I'm going to go in with this um, Fit Me foundation. This foundation is exactly the color of her, of her neck, so I was sure I could work with it. Then using my Beauty Blender, I start blending everything seamlessly out, taking my time to make sure that everything is well blended, as you can see. Then I'm just going to take any every, um, the anything that is le left on the Beauty Blender and just blend it down through her neck and her ear areas to so, so everything is uh, matching no it will not be like coke and fanta then i'm going to go in again with this um elegant pro concealer in the shade fun i'm going to use to highlight her face i'm highlighting her, her under eyes 
the bridge of her nose, her forehead, and her somewhere around her tippy bone. I'm, go, I'm also going to highlight highlighting her chin area. Then I'm also going back with this my beauty blender again, using the clean side to blend out this um, concealer. Seamless, just blend out immediately. I didn't wait for it to dry because this is winter, and this concealer dries down quickly. So I'm just going in to blend everything so fast and soon. Also taking my time to make sure that everything is blended seamlessly, just like this. Yeah. Then after I'm going in with this my Milani 8 in 1 palette, I took the the color that is closest to her skin and I use it to um to set the places where I have already highlighted. Then I went in with this my bra um, sorry my black opal um, setting powder. I'm using it to set everything in place just to make sure that nothing is creasing. Yeah. Then I went in with um into my Milani 8 in 1 palette. I'm taking the darkest contour shade because she's really dark. So I want everything to be blending seamlessly. I didn't use bronzer. The bronzers I have here are really light and I don't want anything to be showing. I don't want any harsh lines. So I went in with that dark contour shade. I'm just using it to contour. Just add shadow. I'm not even contouring more. Just adding shadow to her face. Just make sure that everything remains as her natural face. I just really want to this makeup to look as natural as possible. So I'm just taking that um, um, contour shade and just putting it on her face. I also put some uh, by her nose. I also contoured her nose a little bit. Then I'm going with this my into my kiss touch again. Then taking the pinkish reddish blush shade in the palette. I'm just um, adding it to her um, chamber. I'm just adding that to her cheek, just um, a little bit above where I contoured. Then I'm adding um, on her nose, just at the tip of her nose, then her forehead and also her chin area. Then using the brown eye, um, eye pencil, brow pencil that I used earlier to um, scratch out her brows. I'm using it to line her lips. Then going in with this um, lipstick, it's like a dark red. I don't know when I put it on her mouth, it came out looking so red. But when I saw it, it was somewhat brown so i don't know so just putting it on her lips and just making sure that she's smudging her mouth just like that and i'm going to move on to her two bands i'm just placed i just placed that on her head just bringing the the right side to her left and taking the left side to her right and then asking her to hold the one part of the tie for me yeah, and i'm just making sure that the back is um is good and everything is um, straight then i'm just taking the right part one that she's holding and just start aligning it just so i could get those um, little little lines just like this one then after i tied the part um, in the back later on i used i took the larger part and just pin it by the left side of her ear and that is all for this video you guys i hope you found this video helpful if you do please don't forget to like comment please subscribe to my youtube channel i love you all so much until next time i will see you bye enjoy your weekend mm -hmm.